host of CNN's State of the Union John Tapper took to Twitter Saturday noting the plans for National Security Advisor John Bolton's appearances on the show fell through, citing President Donald Trump's press conference attack on CNN and their White House correspondent James Acosta. Tapper's tweet was a clear attempt to skew the story in their favor. Update, John Bolton, had been locked in for tomorrow's, State of the Union. Then the president attacked CNN during his UK presser, and our WH correspondent tried to ask a question. We are told Ambassador, Bolton remains fully prepared to do the interview but the White House has cancelled it, Tapper tweeted. However, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was not going to let CNN's narrative be the only side of the story. Sanders replied to Tapper's tweet, explaining exactly why the White House cancelled the appearance. Actually a, CNN, reporter disrespected, President Trump, and, Prime Minister, made during their press conf. Instead of rewarding bad behavior, we decided to reprioritize the TV appearances for administration officials. Sanders wrote, while Tapper's tweet sought to villainize President Trump for attacking CNN, Sanders' tweet set the record straight. It isn't difficult to infer that Acosta was the disrespectful reporter, back at it again on Friday during the president's press conference with British Prime Minister Theresa May. Acosta has become known for his relentless rude outbursts and shouting during many of Trump's important meetings and events. When taking questions. Trump refused to take questions from CNN through Acosta, calling the news network fake news. Trump then moved on to John Roberts, the White House correspondent for Fox News, saying let's go to a real network. We're a real network, too, sir, Acosta was heard saying as Trump again asked Roberts to proceed with his question. Trump's refusal to answer a question from CNN seemed somewhat unprovoked. But when looking back at Acosta's behavior during countless other press events, it's much less shocking. Acosta's constant interruptions and inappropriate questions have led the Trump administration to call for his press credentials to be pulled on numerous occasions. It seems as though the time has finally come for someone to tell Acosta he won't get any more respect for the organization he represents by shouting for attention like a child. As Sanders explained, the cancellation of Bolton's appearance on the State of the Union serves as an important lesson, as the Trump administration is finished rewarding rude and unacceptable behavior. If Acosta attempted to act professionally during press events, perhaps President Trump might actually start to respect him and CNN enough to take their questions in the future.